Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? And... Arthur Glenmore. I don't recall you being invited. Yet here I am. Roderick, may I have a word? What were you thinking? Bringing those soldiers here is sure to set my father off. As if he needs more excuses. They're here for my protection. You didn't think I'd just trust your father? I thought you'd at least trust me. I heard what happened with Griff. You did? How you refused to submit to him. You're too strong-headed, Roderick. My father's convinced you mean to rebel. So if you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? That doesn't look like good faith to me. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. These your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torrin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me, yes. You look a bit like your mother now. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful. Gullible and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on. We mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Let's be ready to defend ourselves. Four more! Ryan for Griff. That is the plan. I'll look around. See what we're up against. That's far enough!
Why all this? If they mean to betray us. Bread and salt would mean we're protected by guest right. Even so, I won't be letting my guard down. If this goes badly, what do you want us to do? Protect my people. Get them out alive. I'll defend them with my life. And if it does come to violence, move to the walls and get behind my men. Barred from the other side. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. Just stay close to Arthur. If things do get bloody, he's your best chance of getting out alive. Welcome to High Point. Lord. You're not nervous, are you? Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey. Though you did bring Glenmore soldiers under my roof. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? Once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. Let's not speak of the dead, shall we? Agreed. Lud, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill. To family. To, to family. family. Now, tell us why we're here. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roose Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. I'm offering. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick. This could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer opportunity. And you demand more. 
Need I remind you? You kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch! This isn't the way to get what you want. They're making slaughtering your small folk! Maybe he'll even make you watch. Griff's no longer in charge of Ironrath. What are you talking about? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. <sighs> you didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North! I'll gladly return if my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Roderick! You came, just like you said you would! No! Father, no! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I do this! I swear by the gods, if you will hurt Let him go, or I'll have Griff This killed. is not what we agreed. Blame him! Not me. If you want to see Griff alive You think again, I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Power! Oh, I ought to kill you right now! Because you forest us I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word! Kill me, and we all die! Let go! Let me go! Everyone, please! Please, Lord. Don't do this. Oh. So now you beg. Yes. I'm begging. Things don't have to end this way. You're lucky I know mercy. <clears throat> Ryan, come here. No! We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall, and the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. There it is. The East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. We'll need to take those two out first. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm? It's nothing. Just forget it. Fine with me. Great. Take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it! 
What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. Pfft. Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she won't do it. Not unless she's a fool. Mirin is not Astapor or Yunkai. <laughs> <laughs> We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So? Which will it be? We'll go over the top. You just make sure you clear the way. herself the breaker of chains. We will break her. I think Croft got the easy job. on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. We stick to Croft's plan. 
Take care of them first. All right. I can't believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. You hear that? <sighs> it's starting. At High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. No, but you found the strength to humble yourself. It can't have been easy. But it worked. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed. Eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. We'll celebrate once Ryan has returned safely. We still need to make the trade. You're right, of course. Still, you did well today. Don't lose sight of that. My lord, look! Where are the gods? Dahlia? Sir Ryland! Where's my sister? Elena! Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Or maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I... I didn't need to... Perhaps a song instead. 
I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. How courteous. Now I know where your sister gets her manners. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. And you. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Through your crew. 